Filipinas who are not working in the bars, um, what do they want from foreigners or with their men? First of all, these Filipinas, it really depends on who they are, which Filipina, and um, what is their main goal. Uh, some Filipinas would look for foreigners to go to U.S. if they are nursing students just to make sure that they get a work as a nurse in U.S. and then just change you know like dump their previous boyfriend because they already have a citizenship and then start bringing their own families in US and then some of them um, just need someone intellectual to talk to uh, to be honest with you in my case I'm not really intellectual but I hate boring conversations and yeah, uh, for those Filipinas, there for Filipinas and other who are already living in other countries, and who has a job in other countries. In case you met some through family or they got there because their family lives there. What is their goal usually? Their goal is just to settle in and fit in, um, especially with our skin. So yeah, uh, for them. Even though they are American citizens, sometimes, yeah, they are. They still end up with Filipino, Filipino American boyfriends, and because of that, they still feel somehow like a minority. As you can see, they Filipinos in other countries stick together, and end up being together. And then for other things, uh, these Filipinas, they actually like. Oh, can you see that blue one? That's my gym schedule. It's ugly, right? The, it's an electrical tape. I couldn't find other tapes. And that's the Japanese thing. So, yeah, I'm trying to study objects. Anyway, so these Filipinas, what are their differences? I guess um, their differences, it's not really all about the money anymore. Because if they grew up in U.S. or they stayed in U.S. for quite some time and they have jobs, uh... They just want security for this time. Um, they want to be secured with the money that they are going to earn. They want to be secured with the family that they have. And if they are supporting their family back home, uh, I cannot say it's a problem, but probably they can control that already. But there are some instances that some Filipinos are looking for foreigners in other countries just to save rent. So that they can send more to their families so be aware of that we will never be really sure on what they want and what are their motives or what are their what is their difference with the filipinas back home i guess the only difference is they are more open with their choices which means like uh if some Filipinas in the Philippines, as you know, as I've said before, the ratio is 10 to 2, like that, maybe, or 20 to 5, like that. 20, 20 Filipina women for 5 foreign men. And these 5 foreign men have a choice with those 20 Filipinas or more. So the competition is tough. Unlike in U.S., if the Filipina is in U.S., she already has the job. She can send money to her family. Probably she's just looking for a good relationship. But I guess you still have to, you know, negotiate with her about the limitations. Um, especially, you know, sharing rent or responsibility. Uh, it's also kind of funny when these Filipinas sometimes... They don't share responsibility with their husband. They just let the husband pay all and send all their money to their relatives back home. So in that case, I guess you have to talk about that. Because it's 2015. You guys have to share the rent, right? <laughs> or any expenses. Um, of course, I still believe that the traditional thing still work works out. Especially for rich people like Paris Hilton. <laughs> but... <laughs> Regardless, I also think that women should share, you know, like, any expenses. 
even small things, whatever they can share. It doesn't have to be all, you know, of the man's job. So yeah, um, if the Filipina stays in another country for a long time, sometimes they are very much aware of that, but sometimes they're still blinded. Uh, to be honest with you, um, if the, yeah, just that, those are the differences, I guess. And about mindset, um, they just want to have things better and better and better. Not only for, but the thing is, some of them wants it better and better, not only for them, but also their families. So, yeah, I guess you have to ask her that. Uh, I know it's going to be difficult for you to ask at first because it's like, you know, rude. But it's also better for you to know. And, yeah, about if you're planning to marry her like that, you can always tell her, like, you can give conditions, you know, like, a prenup. Because, you know, um, even if the Filipina is already in another country, what if her working contract is about to end and she just needs someone to help her extend contract and find another job? That's possible. Uh, what if she just wants to stay in that country longer? If that's the case, tell her to pay you to marry her. And make a prenup. <laughs> and then, also there are situations where these Filipinas, you know, uh, they just want to marry a foreigner to secure their future in that country and to bring their families. Because if you have a contract in another country, like for example in U.S., uh... You just have a working contract, but it doesn't give you the right or anything to bring your family in the United States unless your job in the United States is lifetime or something like that. So especially now U.S. and other first world countries are very strict with that. So probably there are some instances that way. Now if she grew up in the United, United States, um, I'm not really sure uh, about their motives, but Usually some of them just wants yeah, to have their own family. But all in all, yeah, uh, at the end of the day, I guess most Filipinas would still think, you know, uh, of considering security if they are already in another country. But, and, you know, like financial um, security usually and improve self-improvement because they have all the time in the world but yeah with other reasons i'm not really so sure so and then do we have a taste with other men like um does the filipinos in philippines have a different taste with the filipinos in another country well it depends uh you can say filipinas in other countries have more choices than the Filipinos in the Philippines. It is because they are already in that country, so they have the, sometimes we can say cards, unless, as I've said, they are contractual and they just want to extend their stay. I've heard many stories, uh, my stepmom, sister used to tell me that many Filipinas in Canada would ask her to find them a boyfriend so that they can extend their stay in Canada or bring their families in Canada. So that sucks, right? Yeah, um, I'm not saying they are scammers, but they still are, you know, up to security. Just like yeah. in the Philippines, not their security and money. And yeah. But all in all, I guess there's no big difference. Just one has the money and one has more choices. The other one has needs more money and has a little bit of choice that's all i can't say a lot